Hello guys. So we are here to learn about the notifications. So how we can create the notifications through an event. So there are multiple ways to create a notification in ServiceNow. So here I am going to explain you about how we can create a notification through an event in the ServiceNow. So let's begin with the implementation. So I will write here an event. So first of all, we need an event for this. In system policy under events, we have a registry. So you can see the out of box events created here, right? So let's create a new event. It will be a test event. These fields are optional. You can specify the table, queue, caller, access filter by descriptions if you want. For testing, for testing. Workflow. Got it. So I have submitted it. You can see right here we have it. So now this event, I need to call this. Basically, the convention for event is usually done through a dot like this. Now this also it has done test.event. So now I want to um, notify user. notification i want to notify user to a workflow catalog item so i have created an event now i can call i can check the existing notifications so right here if i think something wrong happened notifications so under system notifications we have notifications so here um, so recently i created a notification let's check that oh, let's create a new notification quickly test event okay so right here i wanted for requested item so now um, here when event is fired a list of event is populated here so you need to select the required event so my event will be test so it's alphabetically test dot event is my event so when it will be triggered so it will be triggered to my catalog item so if you want to specify a specific catalog item name so you can specify by entering item it should be that particular item so currently i'm only throwing the event from that so who should be notified for example i want to notify a specific user instead of requested for let's notify So now we'll switch to the advanced view. Okay. So we have param two and param one. So we can send some param one and param two. Also recipients in param one, param two. I'm going to send those as well. So now I want to I want to type some content. 
so this notification is triggered from event right uh, content is here is nothing so the subject will be it will definitely contain the number so that we can filter it out later trigger from event correct so let's see we are ready with the notification now um, we need to fire that event from somewhere so event firing can be done from um, from a business rule from um, schedule job by writing a piece of code uh, by writing this ds dot event queue in the back, uh, server side script here we have a name of the event then we have a second uh, parameter as a glide object then we have these two parameters as param1 and param2 this should be of string type so this is how you can call this um, event from the server side so it could be either schedule job this is rules or you can use glide ajax in um, client script to call it through client side also as well so now I am doing it for catalog item for an RITM. So let's check that first. So I have an item. Uh, yeah, I have a catalog item, sample item, sample item. So now I have a workflow here, test workflow. Let's open this workflow. So I am creating here a task and let's see the um, workflow is not completed but I just want to create an event basically. I want to fire an event from here so I will use an event create event activity from the core side and here I will uh, and notification I will write to a uh, user. You can, spend, you can elaborate more over here. So I am going to select the event name which I want to fire that is test.event. Now, if you want to send some parameters from here, or you can send a value, uh, user value right from here whom you want to uh, send the notifications. So basically, param1 So suppose I'm not sending it uh, anything, so it will be go as the empty one. If I want to send specific user, I can glide record here, sys user table basically i'm not sending these two parameters because i don't need it right away so okay once the task it moves from task either it is closed or goes incomplete then it will go to the end activities and we can delete this particular arrow so that's how i workflow look like now i publish it wait so now this event will be fired it will be triggering the notification and the notification will be sent when the task is closed or closing incomplete so i have published it so once it is state is published let's test it for now while try the catalog item Thing is mandatory let's fill some of the data order now okay. 
we have our RA team ready. So yeah, this is our table name, SC REQ item, and this is our RA team number. So yeah, we have task ready. Let's close this task. We have closed the task. Let's verify once. Yeah, it's status quo close complete now. So ideally the um, event would have triggered. Let's check it in the emails. It should be there, right? In the email right there, we can type our RITM number because the subject had this. You can see we have a notification for a brand with that this is triggered from event. So just to preview this email, you see, we only mentioned this type. This notification is triggered from event. So you can add here your content, you get variables by dollar braces and backend name. You can add it um, any data you want. For advanced script, you can use a mail script as well. So let me also tell you how you can. Um, verify this from notifications also if i go to the notifications this is where's the latest notification i just created something test the test event so this was a notification i created that I think we are good. So this was a notification I created. So you can always use a preview notification. Uh, just check around all the buttons in the tool is providing you. So you can always have a look at who should be the user subject and body from here. So yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for your time.